All right, we'll start by attaching the thread to the hook shank here. And the index point for this pattern is the point of the hook. So as I wrap this thread rearward, I wanna stop just in front of that hook point and return my thread a little more than halfway back toward the eye. Before I bring in that ripple ice fiber, I'm gonna take a little bit of zappa gap and I'm gonna place it right there on the back half of the thread wraps. That's just a little extra step that I can take to increase the durability of this pattern which for me is a huge sticking point for all of my patterns. So I'm gonna catch the front of this ripple ice fiber here and I'm gonna wrap rearward until I get to about just in front of that hook point. Once I've reached there, I'm gonna stop, wrap back over the front of that and let my thread hang there. Now lengthwise, what I'm looking for here, I wanna cut this ripple fiber to about two lengths of the hook shank and I'm gonna cut it at kind of a backwards facing 45 degree angle doesn't have to be perfect, but approximately that's the shape that I'm looking for there. Once I have that taken care of, I'm going to come in and put a little bit more zappy gap on top of the thread wraps. And that's where I'm going to attach my tail. Now I like to go ahead and pre-cut my tails. And when I cut them, I'm looking for the length that is about, uh, about two and a half times the hook shank. So I catch the front of it there. And I'm just going to wrap back again to where I stopped where I finished off with that ripple ice fiber with that kind of dangle there. So once I have that secured, I turn that thread in the middle of that thread wrap area and we'll bring in our last piece. So for this piece, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut it at a 45 degree angle going away from me. The reason why I do that is so that when I tie it in, my thread wraps catch, and they can catch, just the tip of this. And the bonus of that is when I bring it around, when I wrap it forward, that squirrel strip does not have to sit on top of itself. It's going to allow it to make me a, allow me to make a little bit more uniform profile when I do that. So prior to making that wrap, I'm going to take a little bit more zappy gap, and I'm going to coat those thread wraps, both sides. Now, if you've worked with pine squirrel before, you know that the uniform uh, width of these can sometimes be different for these strips. So with this strip that I have right now, you can see I'm going to have to take another full wrap to completely cover that thread area that I built up, and that's fine. Uh, some, some of your strips might be wide enough to where you can get away with a single wrap. But for this one, I'm gonna need to take two. So I'm gonna cinch that down, throw a couple thread wraps up there, turn it sideways here, snip it off. And because of the way that I'm finishing this, I'm not, I'm not worried about making this a beautiful, pretty thread head. I'm gonna throw a couple wraps on top of it there return that thread here and I'm just going to throw in a whip finish. Uh, you'll see why in a second. Excuse me, a half hitch, not a whip finish. So I threw that in. Uh, before I put the fish mask on here, I'm very simply going to take some Zappa Gap and coat this front area here. If you've never worked with the Flyman Fish Company fish masks before, I highly recommend them. They're a great addition to your bait fish patterns. Uh, they give it a killer profile. Uh, great, great uh, way to finish off. Little to big streamers. So they come in a wide, wide variety of size. Now you can see when I've slid this on here that my eyes are already in the sockets and in place. If you look at that video called uh, Fly Tying Efficiency, that's uh, underneath the first tab for fly tying videos, you'll see how I finish these. Uh, I prefer to use a straight shank streamer hook. And I set a bunch of them on there at one time, put all the eyes in the sockets, UV cure them all at the same time. Speeds things up a lot, really increases your efficiency. So I built a little bit of a thread head in front of it. I'm going to come in, I'm going to whip finish that by hand. If you whip finish it with your tool, that's cool. Half hitch it, whatever you feel like you need to do. Snug that down. Come in and snip my thread. And then I'm going to zap again those thread wraps at the front uh, just to ensure that they're locked down and that fish mask is where it's supposed to be and stays where it's supposed to be. So color combination wise, I mean, Ripple Fiber is a new product from Hairline. Comes in all sorts of different great bait fish colors. Pine squirrels come in a wide assortment of colors so you can mix and match these guys to what you think best matches the different bait fish.